and I will be doing Andre back in the video today. Today, uh, this video is about Steve Matai, um, how the me NRL media has uh, falsely um, made rumors about uh, Steve Matai's uh, disappearance from you know the NRL and Manly, and uh, no one can really track him where he is. Um, I understand that Matai has come out with a letter. He wrote a letter uh, on Facebook and got sent somewhere by his family. And he explained he uh, took took a go to the media for um, falsely making stories of him where he's um, ended up now, uh, and I don't blame him. I think the media is a b bunch of bull dust, and um, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't um, blame that either because I'd be pretty um, paid off paid off if um, if I got you know falsely and just lies about where I am now. Um, so just be warned that I could I could rant a little bit. I might get a little bit angry about it because I'm not happy how the media has treated Steve Maddie. I think it's I think it's disgusting in a way because uh, they don't know the full story. They don't know what's happening to Maddie. He's just trying to live his life and just leave him alone. So just be warned. I might rant a little bit, but also I just want to say happy birthday to a good friend of mine called um, Billy uh, Angelopoulos. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, he has I think he has two dragons fan for life and Billy Angelopoulos. So happy birthday to him. Um, but let's get into the video. So. The media outlets on NRL who do NRL, that's like the Moldy, uh, the Mole who reports, um, do does reports uh, rumors, uh, Daily Telegraph, uh, Fox Sports, those three, and I think other ones as well, but I can't get their name. But other three, they've um, they made up absolute bullshit about Steve Maddow. They're saying that he has told teammates that he, um, he's like they're saying that Steve Maddow has told no one that he has moved away from Manly to Ballina. That's where he is now. Um, they're saying that he he's totally disconnected from Manly and is real split. Doesn't doesn't like the club anymore. That's what the, that's what they've uh, been saying. The Daily Telegraph, Fox Sports, and the mole in the mole. Um, and they're saying that Steve Maddie, uh completely completely doesn't want to talk to anyone and wants to um, and has a bit of a hatred and bad blood with Manly, and which is completely bullshit. Because Maddie in, in his letter, Steve Maddie said on Facebook, his family shared it around and. Uh, Matt, I sent a message to some uh, Seagull supporters saying that, uh, you know, he's just trying to live life. He wants to stay away from the spotlight. And uh, look, and Steve Matt, I isn't the only player who's disappeared ever since retiring. Okay, there's plenty of other players. I don't know. I don't know why they're uh, picking on him in particular. It's just not on in my opinion. Uh, and I think Matt, I, you know, about, about him staying out of the spotlight. I think in the past, Steve Matt, I. Uh, he's been some somebody who's been very a very private person. He doesn't like being in the spotlight too much. Doesn't like too much attention, and um, that's completely understandable. I think there's many other players out there who don't don't like the spotlight that much. Um, so I think that it's just really wrong by the media to make up some stories. Um, you know the mole. The mole. If you if you, don't, if you guys don't know who the mole is, I said it before. If, if I'll say it again. It's just the thing that works with um nine like NRL on nine about r rumors and all that. And um to tell you the truth, it's completely fucked. It's bullshit. What um that the mole reports, it's nothing but you know false. Um, yeah, and the mole's making up more bullshit, of course. So about, about Mad Eye. So yeah, fuck the mole. Um, the Daily Telegraph usually is pretty good. I like the Daily Telegraph. Usually, it's pretty good for all the signing transfers and all that, and it's good to read about you know other players and all that sort of stuff. But it's for them to make up a story about Steve Maddie and copy from other media outlets about him hating Manly, disappearing, um, telling teammates and dis or disconnecting from teammates is completely wrong. So the Daily Telegraph has um yeah but is it in the wrong there so. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit, that's fucked, um, via Daily Telegraph making up, um, uh, fake stories. Uh, and then you got the Fox Sports, who I'm a bit surprised about, because Fox Sports usually make good stories, they don't, uh, report bullshit, and, um, this case they actually have, they've probably copied from other media outlets about Steve Maddie, probably have nothing else better to do, the losers, so, um, it, well, for, I mean, who are the staff writers, because there was another story today that, well, yesterday, that Steve Maddie um, has completely disappeared, and, um, and, and our old teammates don't know where he is, and, um, and all that, and I want to know who the staff writer is, is it, is it that fucking bald head cunt James Hooper, is he the one who wrote that story, or was it that fucking old cunt, uh, Buzz Rothfield, the, the guy who came and walked properly, the stupid cunt, and who else, um, uh, is it probably Paul Kent, the guy who just bloody screams my half a time on the show, can't even, you know, talk calmly, the stupid fuck. Uh, anyway, uh, but look...
not not impressed by Fox Sports, Daily Telegraph, or um, the Mole. Not impressed by at all. And some media outlets, I'm taking a go at them as well. That's not fair, Mad Eye, and it's just wrong that they've said the wrong things. Um, so, so those med so the media, uh, just shut the fuck up, honestly, because you don't know what's happening with Steve Mad Eye's life. L like, let him live, let him be. You know, he's ha he has a nice family. He just, you know, uh, let him live life and. Um, and keep and uh, stop rep stop reporting bullshit. You know, I I'm sure everyone's sick of it. And um, you know, at least report something accurate, not something that's actually just fucking you know not true. So um, up yours, media. Um, but guys, look, Steve Maddow is a great player. Um, obviously, want him to come back to Melee one day, but probably he doesn't want to because he wants to live life and stay away from the spotlight. And fair enough, that's his life right there. He can, um, you know, he I respect that. Uh, but. He will always be known as Melee Legend, Steve Maddai, and, um, and yeah, what a player he was. The hitman, Steve Maddai. I love him as a player. Uh, but, guys, that's the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and um, catch you in the next one.